welcome back. Um, how's your day going? I'm just kind of hanging out today. Um, just, I don't know about you, but what has your quarantine been doing for you? I've been kind of getting back into some of my old hobbies, like sewing. So I'm going to attempt to make myself a cape cloak thing. I have a pattern. It's a really old pattern. Well, not that old. It's only from the 80s, but but I'm going to I'm going to alter it. Cuz that shit ain't lined and doesn't have a pocket. And I want pockets, damn it. So challenge accepted. Um yeah, so that's new on my horizons is I'm getting back into sewing a lot more than I used to the last couple years so I'm kind of excited about that Got some fabric make a couple dresses but the big one is uh, this cloak that I really really want to make but I'm waiting for my fabric to be returned to me because for some strange reason I gave the fabric to my mom but she's sending it back to me so we're waiting for the mail to arrive and turns out that I like well I like doing stuff and anyone that knows me personally knows that I actually like making stuff so I'm gonna make stuff and if you get to watch me suffer in my artistic screams of discontent because things aren't working out which happens a lot then so be it uh yeah everyone goes through their phases i don't know what did quarantine make you do that seemed kind of crazy and out of the norm for yourself <sighs> so what else am i doing i'm gardening got my garden plot going not surprising What's shocking to me is everybody else under the sun seems to want to learn to garden this year. How's that working out for you? Because when we finally got into our community garden, there was sometimes we weren't sure if we were going to be open. Um, but by the time we were allowed in and we were going and buying plants, all you all have bought out all the tomatoes. I had to like take what I could get. So I'm kind of stuck with tomatoes that I have no idea how big they're gonna get. I don't generally like the super big beefsteak sized tomatoes. I like a little smaller like heirloom, like, or maybe a yellow tomato, stuff like that. Like I like little ones that go like medium sized tomatoes that go nice in salad or if you're gonna make like gazpacho they're great but no I got a one type of heirloom that I was not I've not grown before and a big boy tomato which is they're big like they're starting to ripen they're a big ass tomato which is fine because you only need one for a salad so great really really huge tomatoes like so suffice it to say my garden is doing great I will cut to my garden right now so here is my garden plot my tomatoes are really tall for such a shady spot and here's my lemon peppers they're coming through. Some banana peppers are hanging out, ready to ripen. Uh, Royal carrots, beets, and I trained my cucumbers up some poles so that they don't overtake my garden completely. And then I have some walking onions that I just harvested yesterday and then a little herb garden at the very end that is my little plot of happiness um, so yeah so mostly tomatoes and peppers but this year my crop of lemon peppers are just 
going insane. So I'm gonna have to learn how to do something with that. That's my, my little garden plot in the community garden. So what do you think of my garden? I think I'm doing okay. Like I put in some radishes this week because I had to pull out a zucchini that turned out to be male and that sucked because no zucchini this year. None. I'm sad. It hurts inside. No zucchinis. I love them and I have none because my plant decided that it just wanted to be flowers and that sucked so I pulled the fucker out threw it into the compost pot because I was done with it just done so I put in radishes and I'm gonna let at least three or four of them go bananas and go to seed because the radish seed pods whole oh, tasty so good. If you have radishes and you haven't let them go to these great big bushy little plants that create these seed pods, oh, you are missing out because they be tasty. So tasty. Who doesn't love a good radish? Crazy people. If you are confused about radishes and what to do with them. Pretend they're carrots. They're just tiny fat carrots. Whatever you do with a carrot, you can do with a radish. And they're delicious, especially roasted. Oh, open your eyes, try it out. Okay, um, what else? Um, let's see. Gardening, doing projects. Watch a lot of YouTube, start a YouTube because I've been watching a lot of YouTube and I'm finally decided, hey, you've been thinking about doing this for a long time, so why not do it? Like, get off your butt and just do it. Why not? So, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. So, yeah. Sewing. That's... I'm very excited. I really want to do this cape. It... It's been a long time. I really want this bright red cape to wear but I want pockets down it so it has to be lined or be really really ugly on the inside I don't know so probably lined we'll see it'll be a new sewing journey it's been a while since I've done a, a big project most of the time I just do you know, masks or a simple shirt or a quick little dress that I can throw together in an afternoon like so a big multi-day project mm. yeah we'll see how this goes I'll document it it'll be fine yeah like, especially when I'm just lying on the floor crying drinking my gin because things don't work out it's one thing if you if you sew you definitely know all about failure. <laughs> I've been kind of obsessed with watching historical costumers on YouTube. Which is probably why I want to make the cape. Well, not exactly, because I've always wanted to make the cape. I've just never got my act together and put pedal to metal and just did it. No cat today. She's sleeping in the sock bin. Yes, I keep my socks in a bin in the bottom of my closet. And that's where my cat likes to sleep. And it's very cute. Um, but I don't, I can't film it because she's a black cat in a dark closet. You can only see her if you like yell at her and make her wake up, which I'm not gonna do because I like it when she's sleeping. Because it's nice and quiet. I love my pet, but we are spending too much time together. Yeah. I love her, but we are spending way too much time together. I mean, I'm not knitting her outfits yet, so there's that, but... Thanks for watching, guys.
I don't know how often I'm really going to be uploading. I'll try and do it at least once a week. But no guarantees because it's how I roll. No, no guarantees in life because there are no guarantees in life. So we'll just go with that. Until next time, be safe, wear a mask, wash your hands. Ciao! <sighs> oh, that is not going in there.